in days like this, it's good to know about the warm breath. Just ask yourself where in your body is the warmest spot, and focus your attention there, and see how warm you can get it, and see how you can let that warmth spread to the other parts of the body. That's where you learn about the potentials we have in, in all of our bodies that we often overlook. The same thing happens when it's hot outside. You can find the coolest spot in the body and focus on that. And you can always remind yourself that even though the air outside is cool or cold, and the body may be cold, but the mind doesn't have to be cold. It doesn't have to take on the characteristics of the things around it. All too often our mind is like water. You put a little dye in the water, the whole bowl of water then gets red or yellow or whatever. A little bit of cold and the whole mind feels cold. You have to remind yourself, okay, there are potentials of warmth right here. We don't have to practice like the Tibetans who would sit in snow and melt the snow around them, but you can find that there's warmth in here, and if you focus on it consistently enough, it, it increases. So give yourself a warm spot to stay. And that's the other thing. Just say, well, that's just the nature of the air out there. Sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's cold. This is not anything unusual. And that way you learn how to cut yourself off from a lot of the perceptions that can weigh down the mind and cause it to suffer. You see the power of perception, because the fact that there are cold sensations there, but there are also warm sensations. And a lot of it has to do with what we're focusing on, what we choose to focus on. The problem is often we don't realize we have the choice. The cold's there and we just glom right onto it, but you don't have to. And the same with all, all kinds of things around you. When people say harsh words, okay, you can focus on the harshness or you can focus on the fact, well, it's their karma. They can say whatever they want because it's their karma. It doesn't have to touch you. This is one of the ways in which you develop your powers of endurance. You learn how to depersonalize things. Look at them in a new way, so that they actually are not that hard to endure. So learn how to use your discernment. And remind yourself there are a lot of potentials here that you may not have realized before. Look for them and you find them, and you can take advantage of them. The mind that's not disturbed by things, that's a potential that's there in the mind too. So make sure you develop that perception and you'll be able to tap into that dimension of the mind.